Today we're going to talk about marketing and branding and what you do with your business and we have some amazing guests for you. I'm going to introduce one in particular first of all, Joe Malone, you will know, has been known as the English scent maverick, addicted to starting businesses basically, has produced some of the world's best loved fragrances, but on the way had a bumpy journey from which she has learned many lessons that she can share with us now. Joe Malone. On the table here, it says Joe loves, yeah. and Joe loves is the next chapter, right? I just wanted one more, one more shot, and so I remember thinking, if I don't try, I'm never going to know. And so I went. Um, I was actually making the show for BBC One called High Street Dreams. And I was standing in a garden with Wellington boots on and a hairnet, filling bottles of chili sauce, and I think it was, it was just holding a bottle in my hand and filling it with something. And I made the decision that I would try again and build another cosmetic brand and see what I could do. Who's group head of brand and creative at Innocent. And uh, you'll know they've been taken over by Coca-Cola, but they've retained their innocence through all of that. He's going to talk to us about effective marketing, how to get noticed without spending a lot. Please welcome Dan Germain. One, if you've, if you've ever bought one of our drinks or drunk one of them, thank you very much. Because that, that's, you know, that's, you helped us do that. And two, if you're thinking of uh, buying juice or smoothies in the future and would like to help us get to be really massive, that would also be greatly appreciated <laughs> because, uh, the, because the idiotic thing I do is walk around saying this stuff uh, without knowing quite how we get there. But part of the deal of coming and talking to a room full of nice people is like, maybe you could help us, please. I want you to meet, please, Rafe Offer of So Far Sounds. Come to the stage, Rafe. Why don't you go there? Kate Ankertil, who is from GDR Creative Intelligence, spots retail trends, Kate. And it's only Holly Tucker who founded NotOnTheHighStreet.com. Oh my goodness. So, so Far Sounds is secret gigs, mainly in people's houses around the world. And I was with a few friends in London and we were complaining that people were talking and texting and not really focused on the music. So we said, let's get out of here and go build something ourselves in our friend's house. So we just invited a few people around to go and focus on the music, put your phones away, put your drinks away and just be present. When we started back in 2005, um, the only marketplaces were eBay and Amazon. And so we um, literally, had, we were creating what was, from my first business, a 24 hour day fair, where the stalls were actually um, a place online um, where the public could meet small business, but not really deal with all the issues of meeting small business, which was town halls at the time. So I personally think that we will always have a retail future in terms of a physical retail future, but I do think it'll shrink quite considerably and what will be left will be significantly smaller, but significantly better, more experiential, more participatory, entirely customised. You obviously got that right a long time ago. And also you're getting it right because mm. what you're doing is community-based, it's bottom-up, and that's absolutely right, and that's the trend we're seeing. Essentially, you've got the platformization of our economy, not just retail, but everything. And Miriam Farrell says, aren't Innocent worried you're going to be sullied by Coca-Cola? Mm. Well, we've been, so we've been working with Coke for about seven or eight years, so you guys will be the judge of that, like if you've seen us sully or soil ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, it, it's, it's your decision, it's not mine. Um, if you see us doing stuff that we shouldn't be doing, making things we shouldn't be doing, then like, you know, I'm guessing we would have heard it or, you, or someone would have told us. Thank you so much, all four, and there we are. Here it. It was an amazing event. I thought it was really engaging. The speakers were amazing. My personal favorite was actually uh, Joe Malone, uh, the speaker from Innocent. Jeremy Vine as the host was amazing. What I especially like is to get unheard stories from more the companies I knew. And there's a lot of information that just inspired you.